what is up everybody it's your boy ace checking back in with another video and what are we driving another obs oh can't catch this red light all right um driving another obs we just picked this one up like i said man in the last video we've been crazy 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 busy the last couple weeks so there's been a lot that i haven't even showed you guys this obs being one of them uh this one we've been i kind of if i remember right i want to say i showed it at some point in a video somewhere but i might have not but i want to say i did uh but my older brother actually just finished painting this one this is one that if i remember right i showed it in his garage next to his baby blue truck um so yeah this is that ops he's been working on it the last couple months there was no rush really on it he was taking his time making sure everything's on point uh, my brother's a beast when it comes down to that uh, i've always told everybody he's a beast when it comes down to the paint jobs and he doesn't like to rush anything at all that's why he doesn't really do side jobs like that because people be rushing and is that a car for sale oh. um people be rushing and you know it's just he doesn't like to rush stuff he likes to do stuff the right way so let me pause this video real quick there is a car as you guys can see for sale right there and i do not snooze on the dailies i like to check those out so give me a quick second somebody already right here checking it out so we might snag the deal <laughs> let me see give me a quick second all right that car had way too many miles <laughs> sorry about that but as i was saying there's just been a lot that i haven't showed you guys this OPS being one of them uh, my older brother had this in the garage he painted it he did the full paint job he dropped it we bought brand new 4g autos for it she's setting out brand new 24s um so i'm gonna be showing you guys this truck and uh just show you guys what's going on around the shop i missed a couple cars that went to world of wheels it was just it was way too much going on basically but now we're gonna get caught up that's a cop but we got tents <laughs> You guys are probably gonna see them pass right now. That's a cop, but we got tents, but that's all right. We just got the tents done. Big shout out to Ogden, always taking care of the tents. And that's pretty much that. I gotta put some final touches. I'll show you guys the truck right now, regardless, to show you guys um, kind of what it looks like right now, but it is not nowhere near done. There goes the cop. <laughs> it is not nowhere near done. Ooh, black Escalade, black and white, okay. And uh, yeah, that's that. I'll get back to the shop right now, give you guys some updates, show you how's it going. And uh, that's pretty much that. Let's get you guys some footage. All right, we can start off with this one. The Caprice, I believe it's a 95, 94. I don't know, I could be wrong. It could be a 94, but we got the Caprice officially all said and done. MTW is nice and polished out. The front of the wheel is chrome, so that was easy to clean. The back of the wheel is polished, so they were pretty bad back there. We got those, gave them a, took them off, gave them a quick polish, got the paint nice and clean. Two, uh, two layer ceramic coating, and she's pretty much ready. That's all he wanted to do. He wanted to get that paint nice and clean and protected because he will be taking this car to a show in Atlanta, if I remember right. <clears throat> so he's gonna be doing a few more things before he goes over there, but that show is coming up and that was his main priority. So we got him show ready, got everything nice and clean paint is nice and in order wheels are clean uh ceramic coating is done so even if the show is not within these next couple weeks he will be protected in the car all is all is gonna need as long as it's maintained the right way is to be washed quick action before the show and he'll look just like this like he just left the shop so yeah we got the caprice all said and done and we got to get a couple cars out of here so once we do that i will update you guys on everything else all right all right it was about time that we got a shop update for you guys i honestly have been slacking a little bit but that's nothing new you guys know i'd be slacking and that's what we do <clears throat> but uh we got the gmc the denali the duramax ready to go out the door two-stage paint correction and ceramic coating gus is actually laying down that second coating right now um so as soon as he finishes that just pretty much gonna let it cure uh and let the customer come pick it up after that's pretty much it so you guys can see the paint it came in pretty bad had a bunch of swirl scratches and whatnot but luckily we were able to get all that knocked off has a bunch of rock chips which honestly i did not waste time touching up because the wide wheels and these lifted trucks those rock chips are always going to come back um and if you see them it's a lot <laughs> So I didn't just not do them for nothing, but we definitely would have been sitting there for hours uh, just touching up all those little dots. So we got that one. Pops is over here working on a BMW for one of the local shops that we work with here. The 96 Impala SS, 
uh, it's on its final stages. Gus got it in his section. Uh, so once he does have it in his section, that's pretty much the final touches. I ordered some touch-up paint because this thing needs a lot of touch-ups. A few rock chips and chips on the doors as well. So we got to make sure we get all that on point. Um, touch all that up and get that all settled. So before we put that touch up on there, Gus is gonna finalize everything, look over everything. Then we'll do the touch up and then we'll do the, uh, you guys see all these little chips right here. And then we'll do the um, ceramic coating after that. So 96 and, God damn, I'm over here choking on my saliva. 96 and Paula SS is on its final stages and is close to being ready to leave out the door. And then we got the uh, 86, I could be wrong. I want to say it's a 86, maybe 84. Uh, 84 Monte Carlo SS, we're just going to call it Monte Carlo SS. This one is getting a full wet sand and buff. Let me show you guys this side so you guys can see why it needs that wet sand and buff. So you guys see the paint. I don't really have to even tell you guys anything. Whoever painted this is just, what can we say? They're just bogus, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what he paid. You get what you pay for, maybe, or it could have just been a situation where somebody does not know how to lay down some damn clear. <laughs> so we're going to get all that clear coat, sand it down, evened out. And once we have it smooth, we're going to be giving it a full buff paint correction and bring that shine back out. So it's going to be a nice turnout. As you guys can see, I already started sanding pretty much this whole section right here. Uh, up top, is sanded down a little bit as well. And pretty much the whole hood, I was still working right here, as you can tell. But little touch-ups on the hood. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on to the sides once I have the full, full top done on both sides. So this one is um, not close to the finish line. This one has a long way to go, but... We'll be getting this one situated within these next couple weeks, hopefully, and get it out of here. So, like I said, Gus got the 96 Impala SS over here. Pops is working on this. And then uh, this box Chevy Caprice, we got this one pretty much all done. This was, a, if I remember right, I think he told me it was a barn find. Um, so, it was a complete barn find. They dug it out. He brought it out. He fixed up whatever needed to be fixed up. And the paint had no shine whatsoever. The top, you can even kind of still see a little bit. It doesn't have that shine like the sides do. But the top was horrible. It had no shine whatsoever. So whatever shine we were able to bring out is what's going to be there. And is as good as it's going to get because there's not much to work with there. So we got the box Chevy nice and cleaned up. Inside, outside, full detail. Like I said, this car was a barn find. So it was almost impossible to leave it perfect, but I think we did a pretty good job at getting it at least a lot better than what it was. I didn't record it, like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been slacking, so I didn't record it when it came in. I don't think I did, but that's all right, because the good thing is that I'm showing you guys the car. <laughs> if I didn't show you guys at all, then I would have felt a little bad. Now, over here in the beginning, beginning, beginning of the video, I told you guys I was going to show you guys a new toy. This is what I was driving when I picked it up from Ogden Auto Glass. This is what I was driving. Um, this is a man. I honestly can't even tell you guys the year I have right now. I have too many OBSs. I don't know what year this is. I know it's a 95 and up because of the dash. I want to say it's a 96, 97. So I've actually been working, well, my brother actually been working on this. My older brother did everything on this. He did the full paint job. He did the lowering kit and he put the four Giados on there. I'm just waiting on the final little part to put finish putting everything back together. And as you can see, the stickers are literally brand new. The truck is brand, I mean, everything is pretty much brand new. So he sent it over to me for me to get those final touches done. Um, he said he still had to do the wet sand. I told him, don't even worry about it. We got time. So we'll knock that out over here. And then uh, I'm just waiting on the last little parts. Like I said, he's painting the back bumper for me. Uh, the grill we already got put together. I'm waiting on some clips and some nuts for some uh, for all the lights and stuff so I could put that together. And I'm slowly, slowly, slowly getting this one together. But he did everything. The full bed liner, everything is brand new. Bed liner. I haven't got a chance to clean up the inside. So the inside is obviously a little dirty, but... You guys know we're gonna do our thing and once we do it's gonna be real nice but the good thing is that the seats are not all ripped up seats are not all torn up all ugly so once we actually detail this thing is gonna clean up real nice so you guys kind of see the vision a little bit you guys see the paint 
solid, straight. My brother does not mess around with those paint jobs. I've said it before, and I will always say it. He does not mess around with those paint jobs. Look, let me close this door. Because this bothers me when the door is open. Oh, and I got to change the steering wheel on this one on top of that. But just look at that. She looks good. You can't tell me she doesn't look good. So that's that. And we actually got a whole nother toy. That. And then we're going to show you guys this. And then we got something else that I kind of, I mean, I showed it to you guys. I did show it to you guys 100%. But it wasn't mine at the time. So once we get that one back, uh, we'll show you guys that one. But we also picked up this 1986 Buick Regal Limited. Um, they just put the wheels on here. I think they just did everything. The tents are fresh. Uh, the paint job is fresh. Pretty much everything on this car is fresh. But I got under there. Under the car looks real clean. So it's not like they started with a, a rust bucket. It looked more to me like the car was faded or something. And they just gave it a fresh, fresh paint job. It's dusty right now. I haven't washed it. We are going to be washing it. But before I do that, I definitely wanted to show you guys a new toy. And you guys see that paint job is good too. It's not like they just threw any raggedy paint on there. They did a real good paint job. So we got us a 1986 Buick Regal as well. Uh, this is probably going to be a giveaway car. Thinking it's going to be a giveaway car. I don't really have too much planned right now. So we're probably going to make this the next after that truck. Because that one's on its final touch. I'm probably going to get that out of here first. And then we'll move on to the Regal. Because I honestly want to cruise this a little bit. 76,000 original miles. It's pretty clean. Needs a detail just like everything else in here. But we will get that situated shortly. And uh, that's pretty much that. We don't got too much going on outside. Oh, yeah. Let me show you guys outside because we do got a couple cars outside that I want to show you guys before. Before we get uh, moving and grooving. So this one, we did a full detail. No, not full detail. I'm lying. We did a paint correction and a paintless dent removal. So it only had one dent on the passenger side um, on the door. He wanted to get that removed. And then after that, he wanted to get the paint correction nice and settled. So we got that paint back on point. Got the dent taken care of. And he's pretty much ready to get out of here. Just nice, nice, quick, simple. Got everything nice and shined up. Bumpers cleaned up. All under there is nice and clean as well. So she's she's pretty much ready. Got a Cadillac Broham. This one came in for a full detail. We haven't got a chance to start messing with it, but we will shortly, just like this van as well. This one came in for a full detail along with the ceramic coating. So this thing is gonna be fun to ceramic coat. This thing is huge, but there's no job too small or no job too big. We will take care of this and every single thing will be getting ceramic coated. So yeah, that's this one. This thing is nasty, like I said. It's already nasty and we haven't even done anything to it. So wait till we actually wash it and we start putting those nice touches on it. This thing is gonna be super nasty. And right now you can't see it because of the sun, but in the shop, once we, oh, you can see it right there. Once we get it in the shop, you guys will be able to see that a lot more. See that? And that's not just those pieces. I think these pieces might have a little more pearl to it, but that's everything. The whole truck is like that, the whole van. So you guys see all those swirls and perfections. We'll be taking care of that. Got the nice Tierra grill on there. Tierra grill on the fenders too. They did everything, everything, everything on this truck. This thing's nasty. So that's another one we'll be working on and that's pretty much it. It's not much to show you guys out here. So let's get back in motion before I forget. I think I got some good footage for you guys, at least for now. All right, all right, we got an update for you guys. I've been wanting to get an update for you guys so I can close this video out because I do got to get this video out there for you guys and we do got to get some footage out there because there is more and more coming in and more that I got to show you guys. So let's get you guys this footage and show you what we got done. The 1996 Impala SS is officially set. She's ready to go home. Got the full works, got the full detail, interior detail, engine bay detail, paint correction. Full paintless dent repair. Every single panel had some sort of dent on it when the car came in. I'm talking about hood, roof, trunk, quarter panel, doors, fenders, everything had dents. So we got a full blown paintless dent removal. And as you guys can see, came out pretty good. You don't see no dents. My lights show you pretty much everything. So if there was a dent, you guys would see it right away. So we got the 1996 Impala SS all said and done. 
Uh, like I say, he pretty much got the full works. The only thing we didn't do on this car is the wet sand and buff, and not because he didn't want to. That is only because the car didn't need it. But the guy did tell me, he said, anything that you think the car needs, he's like, go ahead and get it done. So we went ahead and got everything done for him. Interior is nice and cleaned up. We noticed that he had the floor mats already protected before. So we just took all that old protection off. They were kind of dirty, already ripped, whatever. Took all that old protection off, cleaned the floor mats for him as uh, uh, just cleaned them up, freshened them up, and then we put some new protection on there for him. Leather is all cleaned up, carpet is all cleaned up, leather is all conditioned, and that's pretty much that. T Mock actually just said, T Mock's the one that sent this guy over here. He texted me, he said it looks like a brand new car. <laughs> I agree. But yeah, you guys see it. You got everything nice and touched up. Obviously, you could kind of tell that the interior has already been redone at some point. These seats do not look factory, but uh, it was still pretty bad. So, you know, great, great carpets are pain in the ass. So, like I said, we got everything all cleaned up for him. Carpet is nice and cleaned up. His driver floor, man, we still got to wrap up. It's over there, but for the most part, he's pretty much all said and done. Let's show you guys a little bit of the engine bay as well. Show you guys how that came out. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's get him out of here. Show you guys this and then like i said we got a whole lot of updating to do <laughs> i haven't even showed you guys my my third toy but that one's coming home today because i'm dropping i'm dropping three new cars in one video um three new cars in one video and i'm waiting on the third one to get back over here so yeah back to the car we got the engine bay nice and cleaned up it wasn't really horrible but it did need a nice wipe down it was pretty dusty so we got that all wiped down you see the firewall nice and shiny back there got everything nice and clean fender the, the fender wells everything everything is nice and touched and that's pretty much that 1996 impala ss is ready to go home and then let's let's update you guys I'll, I'll go back there right now i got another car to show you guys back there but got this box shaver with a nasty lip on there look at this he got a big big lip on there box chevy i already actually cleaned up the engine bay on this one i don't want to show you guys too too much because i kind of want to save it for the end for the next video i mean but we'll show you guys a little sneak peek ah that's all you get to see the monte carlo ss is not fully wet sanded but pretty much the whole top and this side is all wet sanded already so i need to work a little bit on the back you guys see everything out here i kind of got to go through everything still that was uh, after the second pass, so usually the third pass is just the final look over. Um, gotta go over all this. I barely started working on this, but this is not done yet. You guys can still see orange peel all up there. And then I started working on this quarter panel as well. So pretty much fully wet sanded almost. I gotta work on this door, this fender, quarter, and a little bit on the back, but I'm not really too worried about that. So we'll have this one ready for buff soon. And start working on the next projects. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna drop Three new cars in one video. We just picked up the Regal. We kind of been having this, but we just picked it up because it wasn't done. Uh, so we just picked that one up. And then there's a third one that I got to show you guys, which will be here later today because I had to send it to t -Mock for some quick lookovers. And then we got the four-door LS Broham in his beginning stages of his life. You guys see you got the top over here top is freshly done if i'm not mistaken paint job is freshly done i think the suspension is all done um they brought it in for a wet sand and buff before they do everything i'm not mad at them for bringing it before it's done because realistically once the car is all done they just probably just got to bring it back for a good buff get any swirl scratches and imperfections out of there and they'll be good so yeah you guys see he already got the sunroof cut out already got pretty much everything is there so they're getting it going. I think he's supposed to bring me glass to try to polish out the glass for him. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna start putting this together. These guys got a whole lineup of box Chevys from what I've seen. So they're definitely coming over here with some shit. And I know this one is gonna be definitely be some shit too. So you guys see you got the interior there. I'm pretty sure he's getting maybe some interior work done or I don't know, but everything is all there from what I see. Nasty, nasty car. I love the fact that it's black. And the black top. I just know this car is going to be nasty. But that's that. We washed this one up. I got to start working on this one soon. But I got to get any old projects out first. Big eight-door van. This one we actually... Uh, Pops is working on the paint now. 
but the interior is actually already all done. It already had a brand new carpet in there, but it was all covered in plastic. So I just took that plastic wrap off there for him, cleaned up everything, cleaned up the top, cleaned up the seats, a little bit of leather conditioner on everything. Made sure this was all nice and shiny and whatnot. Dash is nice and conditioned. Look at the back of this thing. Man, I want one of these so bad. Gus thought I was playing the other day, but I really want one of these vans. <laughs> you guys don't understand how comfortable this looks. You got the big TV up there. So yeah, like I said, we got everything all cleaned up for him. Uh, that sunroof, I believe it doesn't close. So it did have a few stains from water coming through there all along the whole side. We got all that cleaned up. Got the TV nice and cleaned up. Everything up there is nice and touched. That whole panel back there was pretty dirty from the water as well. Got that cleaned up seats all the way to the back you guys see them nice and conditioned everything everything carpet like i said is brand new so i didn't really need much but quick little wipe down you guys see pops over there knocking that paint out so we'll be done with this one not soon but pretty soon and this one's actually going to be getting a full-blown ceramic coating so usually i let gus knock out the ceramic coating on his own this time i think we're going to tag team this one because holy shit <laughs> It's gonna be pretty much everything. Everything is getting coated. Everything, everything is painted all the way to the top. You guys can see it all the way up there. Everything is uh, painted. So we're not gonna skip anything. Everything will be getting coated as it should. And we'll update you guys once we got some updates. But right now, I think we got you guys some footage and we're still missing a little more, but we might not catch that one or we might if it doesn't take too long, we'll see. All right, well, I got here a little early beat the guys <laughs> so i might as well get some footage in <laughs> big shout out to ogden i brought it over tommy got me taken care of got a drone drone alarm system put on there and all the goodies all the goodies remote start and all that so that's all said and done it didn't come in for tents but they are usually the ones that do my tents so in case you guys are ever looking for some tents in bellwood or around bellwood Ogden Auto Glass is your go-to. Man, that cut tire keeps going low, and I don't fucking know why. Uh, but, yeah, Tommy got me taken care of. If you guys do need anything on the alarm remote start side, they do do that here as well. Uh, alarm, remote start, drone, GPS, all that. Pretty much anything you want to do. And he's not just doing no raggedy-ass work. The guy that does the all the wiring and everything, I've actually had him rewire a couple trucks for me because that guy's a beast when it comes down to the wiring. So, Big shout out to Tommy, like I said. Uh, I don't know where the key is, or else I would have showed you guys with the alarm and remote start. But we got Blue's Clues, and today we're getting the other toy back that I told you guys. Once I get that toy back, the one that we're introducing to the channel, which we already did once, but I didn't really, um, it is going to be getting back today. So we're going to put those together, not put them together, but we're going to put them in the video and, uh, I'm going to show you guys that little update because that toy is finally coming home. And then we will finish off the video after that. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. You guys remember I told you there was one more that we were missing? Check it out. She's back. Why is this thing out? Oh, my God. Why I just unclipped that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I got to do something about that. <laughs> he said he did that for the noise. But... Check it out. The yellow OPS that has been sitting here for a little while that we did the full wet sand and buff is officially part of the game. So I told you guys we were missing one more. I told you it was getting work done. And she's finally back. Big shout out to my guy T-Mock, t, -Mock, t -Mock 773 on Instagram. He is a fucking dog at what he does. And he got her right, man. This truck was running like shit. It's been sitting for a few years. Um, now he got everything on point. It's, it's a whole list of things that he did, but he basically just got everything on point. All the fluids, he put a new starter, new flywheel, new a uh, whole new list of stuff, new power steering pump, just a whole bunch of stuff. So big shout out to Team I got her nice and running good. You guys already seen the inside. Let me show you guys the engine bay a little bit, just so in case you didn't watch the other videos, you know what the new toy is looking like. Say welcome to the big black OBS. This thing is super, super clean. It's supposed to be a 454 or 30 over or something. He gave me the whole rundown with a turbo 350 trans. It's not a crazy, crazy build, but it's definitely a nice one. 
And the guy that put it together did his thing. He put it together real, real nice. See how that's expensive under there? Nice and clean. Big 26 inch bill is 26 by 12. I believe that's a 10 inch lip. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So there, guys, this thing looks nasty. She's finally home. I get to do whatever I want with it now. I'm gonna change a couple things. I'm gonna tin it up. I'm gonna get rid of these ugly mirrors and uh just some little bases give it that ace touch you guys already know what time it is so that's that introducing you guys to the banana pepper stepper <laughs> that's what we're gonna call this one the banana pepper stepper and she sounds good i'm telling you guys she's a runner a big block so now we got the big block and we got the ls Unfortunately, Blue's Clues is not here. Blue's Clues went to visit T-Mock again. T-Mock still has a couple touch-ups to do. She's been shop to shop, and T-Mock hasn't actually been able to finish what he's been wanting to finish. So, along with that, we got a couple other things we got to do to Blue's Clues. So, she is not around, but the Banana Pepper Stepper is back home. All right, and we could officially, finally, wrap this video up i didn't want to wrap it up without showing you guys the third toy we got three new cars in this video alone so i wanted to make sure we made it an interesting video and made it worth it so now that we got everything we're all settled we got some footage for you guys you guys see we got a bunch of stuff going on in the back the guys are moving cars and uh getting everything uh situated so there is a bunch of more stuff to show you guys we will be showing you guys that soon um but <laughs> Pops is over here messing with this car. We will be showing you guys all these cars soon. And once we do, I mean, that's gonna be a fresh video. But for now, we got a few footage for you guys. We got you guys what we wanted to show you guys. So I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you, everybody that's been watching. If you've been watching, please keep watching, keep subscribing, keep commenting, keep doing everything. I see everything. I just, a lot of times I got so much going on. I don't always respond to comments and stuff like that, but I try to as much as I can. But like I said, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Ace checking out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.